happened. Now you were there with both Shula and with Jimmy. Shula, I mean, legendary coach, most wins of all time. Everyone knows all that stuff. What was it like coaching side by side with a legendary head coach like Don Shula? Okay, that's that's a good that's, that's an interesting way of saying it. When you first walk in there, it's very very intimidating because Don is you know he had such a presence. As I mentioned in my book, Don Shula was not the head coach of the Miami Dolphins; he was the head coach of the National Football League. There's nothing in the league that he didn't manage, that he didn't have a part of. Nothing. Business, rules, you name it, he was right there. He was the boss. And so he was so, you know, he, he was so encompassing in what he knew. He could walk into any meeting and take it over. Very few coaches can do that. Very few. Only a handful in history that could do something like that. Don could coach it all. He saw every he knew the rules of the game. And he made sure that we we're always coaching and teaching according to that. You know, he never wanted to be, never, never liked to cheat in anything. We didn't do anything, you know, below the belt. Uh, we were always very first class doing things. So, and then Don, you know, maybe people don't, I don't know how many people would know this. You know, we had such a productive offense, you know, Marino, Duper, Clayton, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Coach Shula called the plays from the sideline with no script. No script. He memorized it. Red right, 72, halfback, short option. I just gave you one. <laughs> That's a play. He was good. Now, he could do it. I could give you one. He'd give you 50. And he, he was he was just really good. And then he, he could do things with me. And he could come into my meeting. Trust me, I better not make a mistake because he knew. Don't make a mistake, Mike, because this guy knows. And so, you know, you had that pressure that you dealt with. But the way he handled it, it, it at first, it's not for everybody because he's tough. You know, he, he, he used to come down the hall. He'd come down the hall and I was praying, please don't come in. Don't be looking for me. You know, don't come in here. I used to want to get under my desk and hide like George Costanza did in one of the Seinfeld shows, you know. <laughs> yes, he, remember yes. when he kind of lived under – that's what I was going to try to do. Lived under the desk, yeah. yeah. I was going to try to see if I could do that one. <laughs> but, you know, he was – but then once I got to know him and, and he, he, relied, he trusted me, and then he gave me more and more and more to do. And then, with, then I became pretty close with him and – uh I loved that relationship. I, I just loved it. I mean, it was business, but yet I, I had so much trust and respect for him. Even I remember when I was, I, I had left there, I was up with the Jets and we had played Miami on a Sunday and it was a Monday night and the phone rang and it was Coach Shula. He got on the phone. He said, Mike, how'd you block that punt? <laughs> said, how'd you get the fullback out of there? And he said, well, what made the guard? And he took it through in his mind exactly what I did. And then I said, well, their right tackle was just sort of stuck on the line. He didn't get back well, so I knew I could drive through him and run an X game behind him. He said, that's the same thing we did against Washington for a safety. I almost fell out of my chair. That had to have been 15 years before that, and he knew exactly. So he was that kind of coach. You know, the, the X and O's, the technique, the rules, he knew it all. And so to be a part of that was a uh, was really a, a, a rewarding experience, really rewarding. Yeah. 